All right, Maya, so Denver Broncos have themselves in the news yet again. Of course, everyone's very well aware of the fact that Broncos are looking for a new head coach. They were linked and rumored to Jim Harbaugh last week, but there's even more news, more excitement about the coaching search and potentially massive undertakings right around the corner. And I know you have the story on this specific uh, Denver Broncos uh, update. Before I hand it over to you, Mize, Denver fans, we want to hear from you in the comment section below. Look, obviously the season did not go any way as much as you'd like it to, but this offense does have talent. It does have pieces. What do you think the Denver Broncos need to do this offseason to turn this offense around? Is it adding in the right coach? Is it changing the play caller? Is it it bringing in another weapon for Russell Wilson, changing the quarterback, you know, offensive line updates, whatever it may be? Let us know in the comment section below what is missing from this Denver Broncos offense that they need to address this offseason. But Mize, uh, hit us with the latest out of Denver. Yeah, Nick, that's a very good question. Uh, because when you look at Denver, they got the defense figured out. Uh, per PFS, seventh rate ranked defense in the NFL, 29th ranked offense. So not so good on the offensive side of the ball. But uh, a new coaching hire could be a possible solution. And uh, it has been reported that the Denver Broncos and Sean Payton, Sean Payton has asked for permission to interview with the Broncos, the Broncos, I don't know how the process works, but uh, the Broncos asked permission to interview Sean Payton. Sean Payton is now able to interview with the Broncos, but that doesn't start, I believe, until January 17th is the date that they can uh, start talking, Nick. So this brings up a lot of good questions. As you said, uh, there's been a couple coaches linked to Denver, but that just, in my opinion, it means that Denver is probably the hottest coaching position open right now. Because if you look at the other two options, uh, you have probably Arizona. It's not official yet, but it's more than likely going to be that way. And that team does not look as enticing as Denver losing a few key pieces. J.J. Watt is retiring. You don't know the health status of Kyler Murray. When is he going to be back? Is he going to be back in time for the start of the season? That doesn't look too enticing to me. Then you have Carolina Panthers. That also doesn't really look too enticing to me. So I think that this Denver team is the closest. So hiring of a guy like Sean Payton, he probably thinks this is a very enticing job for what's open, don't you think? Oh, 100%. You got to know Sean Payton is going somewhere where there's a, already a quality quarterback situation in place. And you brought it up. Carolina is not that. Uh, Indianapolis, are another team looking for a head coach, is not that either. Obviously, who knows who's going to be the quarterback for the Colts of the future. Um, you look at Arizona, of course, with Kyler Murray. He had the injuries and has had an up and down time. Who knows if he's even going to pan out and develop? And although Russell Wilson struggled this year, he definitely has the best resume and best opportunity to be a legit guy going forward for Sean Payton potentially, or whoever comes in, if it's Payton or somebody else to be the head coach. So from that perspective, yeah, Denver is definitely the most enticing because it's got to be the quarterback. And that's exactly what Payton said. He was asked about this on uh, on Fox today because right now he's a Fox Sports analyst. And he says, and this is what he says: says. Uh, uh, quote, when we went to New Orleans, the quarterback was unsettled at that time. So I think the ownership and the functionality of the front offense is most important. And I think that's why he's uh, I think that's why the Broncos are being so aggressive and going after Peyton the way they are and the way they've publicly restructured the organization to where the new head coach will report directly to, I think, Penner is the CEO of the of the Broncos. I think that's how they, they structured that deal and give him a lot of authority. Uh, as opposed to where they may have done things differently in the past. And I think that's what Sean Payton is looking for. He wants more control over the process, wants more control of player management, drafting, evaluating, things like that. And the Broncos appear to be more than willing to give him or whoever they hire uh, that kind of control and that kind of power, which I think is what the Broncos need, right? They went kind of the the young offensive coordinator route, bringing a, you know, kind of a young up, upstart coach to see how he could do and hack it, obviously did not hack it. Uh, so now they're doing the right move. They're pulling out all the stops and getting a big time name, whether it's Peyton or Harbaugh or somebody else. I think the Broncos are handling this the right way. And I love the fact that they're being out aggressive early. They want to be the, the front runner out the gate. And that's what Peyton said. The Broncos are the only team that's been contacted him up to this point. What do you think of the Broncos chances to land Peyton? Do you think they have a really good shot here? Or, or do you think maybe, you know, another team is going to come into his uh, good graces? Or do you think they're actually going to try and, you know, maybe go other candidates Harbaugh was mentioned before? Uh, Nick, I'm glad you asked that because. I think they actually have a really good chance, and I'm about to tell you why. Uh, according to Ian Rappaport, Denver understands and agrees with New Orleans' asking price of at least a first-round pick plus. So they're asking for a first-round pick and a little bit more. It's undisclosed exactly. They're probably a little bit more open to negotiating on what that plus is. But Nick, the Broncos just so happened to have come in to an extra first-round pick by trading. Uh, linebacker Bradley Chubb to the Miami Dolphins. 
So they have a little extra draft capital here uh, to do that. And they, you know, I, I think that puts them in the wheelhouse of they have some really good draft capital that they could possibly move, unload to get a guy like Peyton that other teams may not have uh, as free. And, you know, also Denver has a third round pick and a, uh, a first round pick in 2024. So yeah. that I think they have a good amount of draft capital to kind of move off for Peyton, which other teams might not have as much. Well, not only do they have an, enough capital, even after the Russell Wilson trade, I think that's why the Chubb trade is so huge for them. But I think the other thing is they're willing to spend it on the coach, right? How many other teams do you know are going to dump, you know, a first and a second round draft pick or a first, a third or whatever it's going to end up being to get a coach, right? Teams really hold on to those draft picks are not going to be willing to make that kind of move. And I think that's exactly why Sean Payton, to your point, Sean Payton could, while may not be where Sean Payton may want to go, it may be the only place the Saints may be willing to trade him. And that will be a big play in this, obviously, because the Saints still, still own the right to Sean Payton's contract, however that works out legally. So I think that's a great point there. You brought up that the Broncos have the capital and the willingness to use it to go get Payton.